The Great Vowel Shift. What is this Great Vowel Shift? And why does it matter? Oh, oh, I know this. It was a major change in long vowel pronunciation. The shift took place about 200 years ago. Vowel sounds moved upward in the mouth, so about used to sound more like a boot. But no one really knows why this happened. Wait, people pronounce things differently? Wouldn't this mess with spelling? Of course it did. Hi, I'm a knight, or knicht. Though, through, enough, and troth all used to sound the same. One that April with his shorter sota, the drochter of March had perced to the rota, and Bathed every vine in switch lacour, of which virtue engendered is the floor. Juan Saphirus ache with his sweat of breath, and spared hath in every hope and hate. Vowels had started shifting by the time spelling was starting to be standardized. That's why we see root and boot with long U sounds instead of long O sounds, like rote and boat. Wow, so what other weird things did this great vowel shift cause? New homophones! Ever wonder why we have so many words that sound the same? Like peace and peace, C and C, and T and T? Those sounded like peace and pace, say and C, T and T. Is this why learning English is so hard for non-native speakers? It's a big reason why. Words like C and T changed, but great and break didn't. So modern English has two EA sounds. This is so interesting. Are vowels still shifting? Yes. In the southern U.S., we see vowels shifting. So, for instance, nice white rice could be heard as nice white rice as the long I sounds shift to the short A in some southern accents and dialects. Wow. Thanks for sharing this bit of linguistic history. You're welcome. It's fun to learn new things about the words you use literally every single day.